More LG G4 teasers show us some of the software updates to expect from Korea. Samsung pretty much confirms its next round smartwatch, and you'd be amazed at how many companies want to buy Nokia's Here Maps. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if you can't beat them, then do what I do. Join them by inviting them to a drink. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today start with LG as the company has made the watch urbane official. And uh, yeah, in time for the Apple Watch, we know. The company is launching it as of this week in Korea, starting with that, and uh, then it'll move to other important markets like North America and Europe. Now, the price points have not been provided just yet because apparently it'll vary significantly depending on markets, but yeah, even the Google Play Store will have it. Stay tuned for that. And let's continue with LG. We love the fact that this company does not like rumors. They make things official. And and uh, so have they made official all the camera features that you're getting on the G4, at least some of them. The coolest ones are the fact that, uh, for example, now you don't really have to turn on the camera at all or the phone at all to take a photo. All you have to do is look at whatever you want to take a photo of, double tap the bottom button of the navigation keys and you've got a photo. In addition to other selfie tricks uh, for you to get those selfies right and other stuff that's in the links of the description for a full video. Now let's talk about Samsung. We have been talking about the Samsung Gear A for the longest time, or at least that's what we expect to be the code name for its round smartwatch. And uh, now they've published the new SDK and the teaser for developers is a round display. And uh, this is the new gear experience as it should be. And they're looking for more developers, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, we're getting a round smartwatch. And uh, even though we don't have any dates, we could speculate that the fact that it's pointing to a number 11 could be that, uh, hey, may 11 11th probably? Up next, we've got Oppo. We have been following the Oppo R7 for the longest time, uh, mainly because even though the R5 was the thinnest smartphone for a short-lived period of time, and it did great in our review, uh, the R7 does away with bezels completely. The leaks have been great. We've seen videos. We've got a lot of stills of this phone. It looks great, and uh, the rumors are that there is an event on May 20th where we might have the R7 already. And uh, given the fact that the R5 was just announced in September last year, wow, that's fast. And finally, for the very hot news of the day, let's talk about Nokia, the remainder Nokia from Finland, by the way. We've heard that the company wants to sell its Here Map service for reasons we don't understand, and the reports claim that we've got three companies interested in buying it, including Facebook, Amazon, Apple, and it seems that the list goes on. We just don't have any other names. And this is very interesting. We know that Apple desperately needs a better mapping service. We're just not sure that Here Maps would be the case. Uh, we thought that probably Microsoft would be interested, but it does lead me to the question of the day. What is your favorite navigation service or mapping service for that matter? Which is the one that you use most? In my case, it really depends on where I am. If I'm in the US or Europe, it'll be Google Maps. But if I'm in Latin America, Waze is the way to go. Not just because of navigation, but because of the traffic services that it provides. It's really cool. Leave us a comment down below. What is your case? Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.